and we're continuing work on these indicators and the mission here is to put new crystals in them and this is an Ames this is the first one I'm working on and just to give you a little bit of a review on what we've done up to now we bought two crystals uh, two acrylic and two polycarbonate and um, we've used three of these and we've broke the first uh, acrylic crystals and this is the uh, the first polycarbonate that I did and you probably can't see from where you're at but um, using the dyes that came with my little crystal press uh, we've got some big mars or dents in these things uh, that leads me to believe that I have the wrong dies the upper die here is just nothing more than a, a, a disc with a bowl shape in it and um, from looking at YouTube the ones that I've seen that were successful are kind of a dome shaped which I think serves to spread the load uh, created by the pressure uh, to distribute that load on the crystal gradually and um, in doing so, uh, you avoid um, exceeding the compression strength of the crystal. Now, I think my best success is going to come with the, the um, polycarbonate crystals. And I have one of those left. I'm hoping that uh, that will work uh, on my third attempt or fourth attempt. So, since I didn't have any domed top dies with my crystal press uh, th that came with it. Uh, I decided that I'm going to have to make uh, my own. My first thought was to get nylon, and I have got a piece of nylon here. There's 20 bucks worth of nylon. But in reviewing the comments of my last video, a viewer who goes by the name of Paddy, that's P-A-D-D-Y, said, don't make it out of nylon, make them out of PVC. And PVC is also a soft material. And uh, he said, what you can do is, is to put it on a lathe and turn a dome shape onto it and get it as smooth as you can and then to get yourself rid of the last tooling marks use heat and flash it to create a smooth surface well that caught my attention uh, it just seems reasonable so I went ahead and bought 20 bucks worth of PVC so what I'm thinking of is I'll make the top die out of PVC and I probably, because I have it, go ahead and make the, a bottom die out of the uh, nylon. So that's what we're going to try to do here today. And we'll go on over to the lathe and get started on that. So hang with me. I'll meet you at the lathe. Okay guys, here's the little hockey puck I made on the lathe. We'll try this the easy way first. We'll just use this, this new top die that I made and we'll use the uh, existing um, die that came with this press. I don't think the bottom is going to be as critical as the top. Wipe all the goo and schmoo off my fingers here. Make sure everything's good and clean. Okay. Get out a paper towel. Install 
install this on the press. Okay. Here's here's our uh, crystals. a clean surface. Now I'm assuming I'm assuming you take this sticky thing off of here. Okay. And we'll see. Okay. Now, it's somewhat centered. Come down, apply pressure until you get it started. Something happened. can't get it on or I can't get it off. I read somewhere you kind of twist it. All right, let's see where we're at here on this thing. Oh, that's not good. Went all the way through. The good thing is I don't see any marks. I don't believe, no, I don't see any marks on the, on the thing. Okay. Let's try her again. Well, hold on a second. Let me let me take just a schmote. Let me take a small fine file and we will take the sharp edge off this thing. I don't know if you're allowed to do this. But I am. That'll make it slightly smaller, but it won't be as grabby, maybe. Okay, let's clean it off good. This is alcohol. Because you do not want fingerprints on this thing. Okay, let's let's try her again. actually think I might end up having to make a bottom die and make it slightly deeper, a deeper dish, because I may be bottoming out before we're getting enough flex out of this crystal. Okay. Actually, I got it backwards. It goes like this. Oh boy. Okay, coming down. Okay. And nothing. No. 
Nope. Okay, let's take just a little more off of here. This is legal. Well, I guess when it's your tool, I guess you can do whatever you want. this thing out. Okay, up. Get her centered. See what that is. That's sort of in there. I just pushed that in there. Ooh, there she goes. She's bottomed out. Well, that seems to be. That seems to be good. Bingo, bango, bongo. There she is. Okay, there she is, no dents. A um, few scratches because I messed with it so many times, but yeah, that's pretty good. You gotta push it down in there a little bit, but no, that's, that's pretty good, I like that. It's got about the right bow to it. So I guess we'll call that one a success. Okay guys, that's all. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.